Hello, this is a response to Together for Peace and his rather um, wordy video, Purposeless Gives Birth to Atheism. The ability to remember and imagine that a type of food will be found in a place that is similar to somewhere that type of food was found before, and then being able to plan how you will get that food is an ability even the rats have. We humans just have a better imagination, which is why we're at the top of the food chain. A better imagination is a survival factor. The meaning of your words I get from your next statement is, if there is no God, then the facts are not facts. That is just plain stupid, no matter how many pretty words you wrap it up in. Whoa, I can grasp the idea of how big the universe, even if the numbers make my head spin. I can explain how gravity works. The fact that I can't do the maths to prove it is neither here nor there. Totally unimportant. But can you prove anything about your beliefs? Can you? I say it is you who have no imagination and cannot grasp how we got here, so rely on an all-covering answer so you don't have to think. And given that, you then go on to suggest that I believe nothing started this time-space. My advice to you is to go pick up a scientific textbook on the subject of the Big Bang, read it, and even if you don't believe it, Learn exactly what it is you don't believe before you open your mouth again and make yourself sound ignorant of the facts that are used to support scientific theories. Got it? Good. Then you go on to say that you think that I think that life has no purpose. It does. Life's purpose is to go on. As in, life goes on. We only have this life, so make the most of it. Now, that was easy, wasn't it? Now, next point. Have you never heard of the Hubble telescope looking deeper into the cosmos than ever before? Seeing more than we've ever seen before. Seeing things that we've never seen before. Adding new questions for us to ask. And I imagine, a function that even rats have, by the way, that the next generation of telescopes will let us see even further. And I bet they don't see a god at work. Any odds on that bet? Any takers? Care to put your money where your mouth is? No, I didn't think so. Now, moving on again to your next point. What creator? Show me some evidence. Don't just repeat what you've been told. Or are you one of those people who believe that your supernatural creator speaks to you? In which case, since I work in sort of like the field of mental health, I recommend that you book yourself into a see a psychiatrist and have a long talk about him because they can give you pills to sort that out. Oh my, we are using some pretty words, trying to put them together to make yourself sound superior and intellectual. I'm afraid it doesn't work. Sounds quite silly. But seeing as I'm in a silly mood, I thought I might join you in some silliness. You respond to every question with blind faith. Backing away, blinded by the light of knowledge so that you cease to seek answers. You're content to stand in the darkness of ignorance and call it light. And in the explaining of all we see, you close your mind, fail to see, and fall back on your unprovable superstitions. And in doing so, you miss all the wonders of the very thing you say, I think, has no value. You can't see the simple beauty in the dance of the atoms in the heart of a star. Your cast iron mindset will not let your imagination fly free. The religion you hold so dear has cast its chains about you. You are a slave to a god that isn't there. You live in fear of there not being a purpose, but secretly you know that when you finally cease to be, there is no more. And move yourself not to think of your own mortality, and take comfort from a book that promises you you won't really die, and the life after this one will be better. And in believing its promises, in thinking that your life is a gift from the supernatural, you miss the truth of how amazing we really are, and what a precious thing it is just to be alive. You are wrong. Your meaningless faith will stand in your way of any true understanding of your place in this universe. Never will you, while your religion makes you deny facts and causes you to stop asking how, comprehend even the smallest part of this vibrant and dynamic universe. There, see, I didn't find that too hard. It's very pompous, though, isn't it? You know, it's a bit like preaching, which is exactly what you're doing, you know? You're saying you understand. You don't understand what an atheist understands, because you believe in a god. And as I said before earlier, the fact that you believe in a god forces you so that you can reconcile your beliefs in a god with what we actually know. To close your eyes to real facts. To turn away from the real truth and to go on putting everything under that one all-encompassing answer of God did it. It doesn't matter what God you think did it, 
You know, whether it be the Christian God or the Islamic God or the Jewish God, even though in my eyes they're all one and the same, or the Buddhist devils and demons or the Hindu gods and goddesses, it's all the same. You have as much proof for your religion and faith as they do for theirs. So why should I believe you any more than you believe them? Yeah, it's an interesting question, isn't it? And as I've often said to other people of of your persuasion, is that when you understand why you don't believe in other gods, you will understand why I don't believe in yours and why I'm an atheist. But seeing the type of person you are and, and looking at the type of videos you made is about the only way that you would actually understand is if somebody took a large plank of wood and hammered it on your head repeatedly so that it get through that thick skull of yours. Because in your arrogance you assume that, that you're right in your belief in your God and everybody else is wrong. And, and in your arrogance you assume that, that you, a tiny speck on a, a small insignificant planet going round a very small star in a galaxy that's full of millions of stars grouped together in a cluster of galaxies and there are millions of clusters of galaxies all full of millions of billions of stars and you believe in your arrogance this was all made for you and you have no real idea of exactly your place in the universe now if any of what I've said has offended you too bad and I'll leave it at that for now but I will be back to offend you later.